Welcome to the smooth life. Grab your favorite Tropica, sit back and enjoy. Tropica, nothing smoother. Last week on Tropica Island of Treasure. In the first elimination challenge, the bottom four teams battled it out for survival. I've never shot a bow and arrow before. In a game of accuracy, it came down to the last shot. Is that in? Zanila is making me so nervous. In the end, Team Pineapple missed the mark and were eliminated. I trained so hard to get beaten by a bow and an arrow. Hey, what are the odds? While the bottom four teams competed in the elimination challenge, the three safe teams enjoyed a parasailing adventure on the island, not knowing which team had been sent home. Our teams are more motivated than ever. It's a smooth shared one million rand and of course a brand new Suzuki chimney with more space, more fun, more of a thrill of a lifetime on the line. But that should tell you that it's not just about lapping up the sunshine. Welcome to Tropical Island of Treasure Zanzibar. We're back at the beach. I see boyers. And I'm like, okay, swim. I can do that. I'm thinking, is it deep? Can I walk there? Do I have to swim? I'm spinning at this point. I'm triggered. I just don't want to get into the water. Welcome back, safe teams. Or should I call you parasailing teams, huh? Yes. How was it, family? Did you enjoy oh, it? it was lovely. Lovely. Amazing. Amazing. Well, uh, you, of course, yesterday, you know, had a lot of chatting to do. And this is why right now, we're not just going to be finding out who it is that was eliminated, because I'm sure you're dying to know, but whether or not you're a little bit richer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why the laughs? Why are you laughing? What's that about? Uh, um, it's just funny because we all voted for the same team. <laughs> At Parasailing, we had to bet on who we thought would win the elimination challenge. We all picked Team Pineapple. Team Pineapple, we're rooting for you. Team Pineapple. Why? Let's find out who was eliminated. Let's bring them in. I don't, I don't see Chad. What? I don't see Ryan. Yeah. Oh. Pineapple. No, guys. What? Yeah. We all pineapple. lost 10K. Yeah. It was indeed Team Pineapple that was eliminated yesterday. What? You. I feel like things got very real yesterday. And even particularly for you guys finding out today. It was better for me to care about it with everybody there. I don't know how I would have handled like, seeing it play out. Because I really wanted Ryan to stay. <laughs> Gloria, it was an emotional one. Did you kind of feel just how real the game is now? I absolutely did. And I also just think like for me, as two females, this game has been really tough for us from the beginning. So it was such a beautiful moment for me as two women that are backing themselves and taking a stand for themselves and fighting. The Bye. other teams are sad, but are they really sad? Are we sad? Let me let you know, elimination teams, that while your teams here were parasailing, we also got a chance to have a little bit of a wager on you. Yeah. So yesterday, World Sports Betting gave them an opportunity to decide on who they believed was going to win the elimination challenge. And they would be able to take home a share of 10,000 Rand each if they got it correct. <laughs> Should I tell them or do you guys want to tell them who you bet on? Guys, we all voted for pineapple! There it is. All of us! Luck up. Great. Not for them, forget that. No. <laughs> wow. 10,000 Rand. Boy, Betting. were they wrong. So. We rock, paper, scissors it. And just so you know, girls, you guys were the other team that we were rock, paper, scissoring for. Sure we were, Jan. <laughs> the other teams are catching feels a little bit because why didn't you bet on me? Because what, so do you think I'm weak? I'm like, oh, this is awkward. I'm glad they bet on pineapple because everyone lost their money. <laughs> Today, the name of the game is Dap Stamps. Dap Stamps. This game is going to put to the test your memory, your endurance, and just how well you can withstand the cold. Now we know that deep heat is known for relieving aches and pains of muscles, as well as sprains, strains, some arthritis. But today, they're not just here to cool you down and the tropic is down. They've brought along these ice baths to make sure that you're chilled. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with ice baths. I do it at home. 
of the boxing? I don't do ice baths. I once did a challenge with my wife and I, I failed dismally. <laughs> so, for damn stamps, as a team, you will have to run to the boys that are yours and have your color. I, we're swimming. I step with the pez wobble again in the water. At each boy, you will find bags of wooden stamps. Each team has to bring back four bags of wooden stamps, two bags per teammate. You can only fetch them, though, one bag at a time. Once you have your bags, you run back to your station. These stamps are inspired by local craftsmen and Zanzibari designers. They use them on the likes of fabrics as well as Zanzibari architecture. But today, you're going to be stamping those with the ink pads that you find at your station that have got different colors. You'll also find a blank canvas because on that blank canvas, you're going to be stamping. You'll find goggles at your station. And this is where you'll have to decide who is the stamper and who is the damper. The damper will be using the goggles to see a sequence of different colored shapes under the ice. Now, this is where the memory comes in. You're going to have to memorize those shapes and the stamper will have to replicate those shapes on the blank canvas. I have a great memory, so initially I'm thinking I should be doing this, but the ice bath has me a little stressed. And if you don't get the whole sequence, you'll place based on who finishes in the earliest time with the most correct. I don't think this game sounds easy at all. The aspect of having to run out there and grab our puzzle pieces, come back, we're going to be tired, and then the next part of the challenge is to coordinate the stamping of these stamps, mm. and I think that is going to be quite challenging. I'm sure you're wondering, what about the points? Yeah. 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 So, today, Tropica family, I'm here to tell you that all scores will be zeroed out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Zanzibar Sunrise is celebrating. <laughs> we're back. Oh, you feel back, Tristan? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we went back three. to zero. I'm mad. Ah, uh, Roxy, you look very disappointed. Nah. Not? No. Huh? I'm playing it cool, but inside I'm actually completely annoyed because we've worked so hard to get to where we are. We're sitting second. Carl? It is what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. So let's talk about the points for this game. Okay. The very first team to come out on top will take away five smooth points. From there, it'll be three, three, two, two, one. Now, there's also something else on the table. <laughs> A smooth charm. Oh. Of course it is. How that will work, my friends, is that you need to, before the end of the game, Give me a guess of how many Tropicas you believe are in both ice baths. If you are the team that gets the estimate the closest to the correct answer, you walk away with a smooth charm. Mm. Are we all smooth? All smooth. All smooth. We need this charm. Only one team has been winning long lifetimes, so mm. this is our turn. You can never have enough charms. And the thing is about Tropical Island of Treasure Zanzibar, we're feeling extra generous this season, yeah? So, the winner of this specific game will walk away with a shared 5,000 Rand courtesy of Deep Heat, everybody. Yeah. 2.5 MG. 2.5 Split, splitty, splitty. Not only are you on the island, we're also filling our bank accounts. No water is standing between me and my 5,000 <laughs> Rand from Deep Heat. So, it's quite hot out here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So then I believe that the ice is possibly looking a little thin. Yeah, it is. So, guys, come and help us out a little bit, please. Uh, 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 Let's add some more ice to these ice buckets, shall we? Queen is a nice bath. I hate the cold. Rather you than me, though. Yeah. I'm used to this. I'm a runner. Ice baths are the one. Gloria, this one is yours, baby girl. I'm not touching this thing. Once again, are we all smooth? All, all smooth. smooth. Let's play, friends. So, colorblind Bobby has decided to take one for the team. He's going to go into the ice, and I'm going to be the one doing the stamping. It is so easy to mess this challenge up, because once that stamp is on, it's done. Yeah. It's over. Eesh. The devil is in the details here. Join the conversation on social media. Tag at MyTropica and use the hashtag Tropica. This is your chance to win big with Tropica. 
Buy a Tropica promo pack, follow the details to enter, and stand a chance to win your share of thousands of smooth prizes, like Samsung Freestyle Smart Projectors, Nivea Sun and DP Tampas, World Sports Betting Vouchers, a trip for two to Zanzibar, and the grand prize, a five-door Suzuki Jimny for the thrill of a lifetime. The more Tropicas you buy, the more chances you stand to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. It's a new round and a new challenge awaits as teams get ready to fight for points and things are about to get icy. Let's do this. In three, two, one. Our strategy going into this game is composure. We're keeping it slow and steady. I'm thinking you sprint on the sand because we're going to slow down when we get into the water. So I'm running, trying to get into the front, and I see Tristan <laughs> coming around me. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Bobby, Bobby is yeah. like, whoa, bulleting. He is flying, and I'm like, no, man. No. I can feel as soon as I get into the water that, oh, the sprinting is not sustainable. <laughs> Slow, steady wins the race. I'm quite behind, but I expected this. I am not a runner. Team Peach, one bag on the station. Go in. You can do this, go. I'm trying to like pace myself, but oof. The game's just started and already huffing and puffing. Team Zanzibar Sunrise, the first team to have two bags at their station. Second round and I'm feeling really tired. Yo! I'm walking the walk, boy. I'm walking the walk. It's Gloria bringing in the first bag for Team Tropical. It looks like uh, Dimakatsu had put the bag at the wrong station over there. Not a mistake you want to make, Dimakatsu. Each and every team now officially has got two bags at their station. Right, let's take a time with it, take a time. Ah, uh, oh, the heat in Zanzibar is, is real. Tristan showing some momentum now, running in right behind Bobby. And in comes Carl, still with a little bit of a jog in his step. I look back and I see Stacy close behind, but it gave me a bit of a breather. Let's go, Stace! Yes, let's go, nice, Nobby. We're there. You're the best of the best, great. And just like that, it looks like each and every bag has been collected by all the teams. Let's go, D. Almost there. Let's go. In comes Team Orange together. And the final teammate for Mixed Berry is joining Carl. And here we go, guys. The strategy for the stamping is to have a way in which we stamp. From the top left corner, going left to right. <laughs> Get to the table, I'm like, oh, dead. And it looks like Dimakato's ready to dive right in. Oh, that cold water, it just hit me. I just felt a headache right at the back of my head. Immediately? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first stamp goes down and as I pull it off, there's not enough stamp ink. I really hope this is not going to like give us like a zero. There's one. Let's go, no problem. Tristan. Let's go. And here comes Team Tropical about to start their stamping. Bobby steps up right to the ice bath. I dug my head into the ice mm. bath and there's a rush going through you like madness. Stick my head in. Speak to me. The one right up top? Yeah. Yes. In I'm not stressed seeing 16 stamps underwater. Yeah. In that circular weird other one? Yeah. In. My first dip, I'm squashed in the corner. I can't see much. There's two people to the left of me and I'm struggling. Okay, so it's more complicated than we thought. Don't forget, guys, once you stamp, you can't go back. It is permanent ink. I'm looking for top from your left to your right. Top right. Gloria has got her goggles on and she's ready to dive right into the ice bath. First dip into the ice bath, it's a bit of a shock. Blue? Blue? Who blue in the orange? Blue. Where? I'll tell you now. I think it's above you, I just want to double check. Look, look. I have to call out numbers, I have to call out directions and colours. It's too much maths for me. Yeah. Which one, this one? Gio. Gio. It's not Gio. It's actually difficult to determine the patterns and the colours underwater. Number one, colour blindness. 
Uh, number two, when you're just in, someone else's head is also in, so the water keeps on moving. So what I see is I see yellow, and I come up and I scream yellow, and she replies, there's no yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately she knows, okay, it's probably green, so, yeah. <laughs> so take the green. Improv. Yes, yes, yes. To my right, it is Mixed Berries and Team Orange who aren't going back to the station at all to try and see what it is that can be done. They're rather calling from the ice bath. But every other team is up and down. Orange. Perfect the way it is, perfect the way it is. We're going colour first and then pattern orientation. And I think that strategy works very well. Blue circles. Where, where? Strategy is look, go to my partner, give the shape. Doesn't seem to be working as well as we wanted to. Mm -mm, it's taking too long. Team Tropical seem to be going slow and steady. Boom. First time description is clear, but it didn't come out all the way. Will it count? Gloria is telling me things calmly. She's not shouting. Everyone, Everyone is shouting. shouting. You got this, Tristan? It's looking like Team Orange making their fourth stamp on the canvas at this point. As I pull back up, I realize that it's the same shape that I've done before, but this one's facing that way and the previous one is facing this way, so I'm not too sure if the orientation is going to be a problem. Where else have we got pink? Just hold on. The shape is different. Blue? Yeah, same shape. Blue? Blue? Orange? Yeah, same shape. These shapes are messing with my brain. It's so similar. There's so much pressure. This is really, really difficult. This is wrong, eh? Huh? This is wrong. This is A2. I said A2. You said A2. Yo, the pressure of stamping. I only have one chance, and once that orange goes on, you can't come back and tell me, no, actually, it's pink. Okay, so put it, A2. To memorize under pressure is a lot harder when there's ice everywhere. My brain is freezing. Where's it? Let me see. Green. Same shape. Green. Green. I was just trying my best to just understand him the best that I could. Like, I do understand that it's probably the closest color to the color that he's mm. mentioning. Wait! This? Yeah. Or this? Yeah. Which one in purple? Green. Do the pink again. Yeah, the lines are facing this way. Team Tropical seem to be going slow and steady. But remember everyone, accuracy, accuracy, accuracy is what's most important. Bobby? Hello? This one, yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. One, two, one. Sharp. No, 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 no. No circles, pink. Are they different? Yes. Who do you think will come out on top today for Dance Dance? Join in on the conversation, hashtag Tropica at MyTropica. Do you think it's going to be the ones who are almost finished? Or could it be the ones who will get it most accurate when it comes to the ones that they've done, but without finishing the sequence? Try the new limited edition Tropica Zanzibar Sunrise. There's nothing smoother. Green. Green. Same as not. Blue there. Legs in blue. This one here. This one here. Wait, yeah, yeah. We're plotting along, but now the pressure's building. The pressure's building. I can notice that other teams are mm. slightly ahead. I realize, you know what? I need to move a bit faster. Yeah. Uh, two, two, three, two, three, four, four, four. At the moment, it's a race between Mixed Berries and Team Orange to finish first. Uh, one second, no, 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 wait. One second, I just want to confirm. Remember, if you think you know how many tropicals are in the ice baths, don't forget to hand me the numbers in terms of your estimate. We have to guess yeah. the bottles uh -huh. in the ice bath. And I'm like, I'm over this, just take a guess. Okay. Lock in. Sanele! Finished! We are not sure it's 100%. Yeah. But I have all the faith in my partner and her memory. So I'm busy counting these Tropica bottles. I think I counted like three or four times. You know what? This is our money. Mm. Let's get our 5,000 rand from DP. Don't go, DP. We're done! Team Mango Peach officially done and trying to give their estimate for how many Tropicas are in the ice baths. How many? How many? Quickly! I turn my head to the left. Ah, a couple of bottles. Turn to the right. Water in my nose. While I'm looking up, more people are getting ready to lock in. I rush this counting. Lock again. 
Lock again. We lock in second. We are stoked. Chase Ben, go try count. As soon as I get in to count the tropical bottles, it's so hard to see because you're looking down, but the bottles are actually like by your head. I counted what I could. Ah, it's a mess. Uh, I'm sorry. That's on me. Yeah, no, no. Zanele. Team Orange locked in. Guess the bottles and give the number and then we can lock in. I guess it was 40 because Tropical is 40 years old. Team Peach officially locking in. So now we're just waiting for Team Tropical. You did this one wrong again, but it's okay. Squeeze, oh, the, the squeeze facing this way. They could still take it because it's all about the accuracy. And there it is, done and done for Team Tropical. This is all we have. I hope we are not too far off. All right, let's get checking. First up, mixed berries. You guys locked in first? Yep. Everything's correct. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't believe that we've got nothing wrong. It's absolutely unbelievable. Of course they've got every single one right. Next up, Mango Peach. You locked in second. San walks towards us and I'm feeling confident. Mango Peach, it's 11 correct for you. I'm like, what? Kick to the chest. Orientation let you down. Yep. Yeah. Rushing too much to keep up with Mixberry, and we have learned a very hard lesson. All right, Zanzibar Sunrise, let's see how you did. Before I tell you, how do you guys think you did? We made a small mistake. Just one? No, three. <laughs> Tristan, that was a very good estimate. Yeah, it was indeed three that were incorrect. However, accuracy does count more than speed, so you are ahead of Mango Peach as it stands right now. Yes. Yeah. Only three wrong. I'm so happy. <laughs> Oranya. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about this section over here. It's a coalition. Yeah. It's a coalition. <laughs> In fact, unfortunately, it's a spoiled vote. Yeah. Friends, you got 11 right. We had four orientation problems and one double stamp. Team Peach, did everything go peachy? Hmm. All right. So, Team Peach, mm -hmm. you also got 11 correct. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, but I am still proud of us for doing that well. Tropical, last to lock in. Slow and steady was your strategy. Let's see where it got you. So, the game that you chose was the right strategy because you got 14, correct? Which puts you in second place. Well yes! done. Well done. Yes! But of course, number two, because next game. All right, Tropical family. Right now, in terms of the scores, it is Mixed Berries with five, Tropical with three, Zanzibar Sunrise with three, Team Orange and Team Mango Peach on two, and Team Peach with one. So, Mixed Berries, congratulations. You don't just win damn stamps, but you also win 5,000 Rand courtesy of DP. Well done. Thanks, DP. Thank you, DP, for our 5,000 Rand. That I'm totally gonna go shopping with. Oh, yeah. What are your equipment? <laughs> Roxy, you are covered in many different things. The stamps on yeah. that mango peach. Um, there I was is... doing an arts and crafts project. Oh, see that girl? How did you find it? So frustrated with myself, we rushed and it was literally just the orientation. So the lack of attention to detail is what got us. We were second from the top, now we're second from the bottom. This game just went like that. Now the question of the smooth charm, my friends. So because Tropica is turning 40, <laughs> oh. the answer is 78. Uh, so, <laughs> and the team that got closest to that number, raking it in, yet another one. Congratulations, Mixed Berries. <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> it's bigger than us. Oh. Mixed berries. Whoa. It's unbelievable <laughs> how we win this charm with like a wild guess. Yeah. Of course they won. Bitter, bitter taste. Anyone yeah. else I would have been okay with, but them again? You may use this charm <laughs> to automatically win 
a tiebreaker or choose the outcome of a tiebreaker you're not taking part in. That target just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Oof. Wow, bottom of the leaderboard. We can only go up. There's only one way to go. We got this. We'll be fine. After a tough and grueling challenge, Team Peach regroup and apply some deep freeze, the perfect solution for after exercise recovery. Do you have a hunch? Is your gut telling you which team will win Tropica Island of Treasure Zanzibar? Then head over to wsbwinners.co.za and make your prediction now. All correct predictions will be put into a draw where one lucky viewer will walk away with 50,000 rand courtesy of World Sports Betting. Have you got that feeling? Then make your prediction now. Stand a chance to win big when you buy a Tropica. There's nothing smoother. As the day moves on, the sun shines in Zanzibar. It's on to a new challenge and the teams gather at Safira Blue's luxury pools. This next challenge looks like it's going to be in the water again, in the pool this time. Hi everyone! Hi! Hi. Welcome to another squad game. So today's squad game is called Fez Hats. You're going to be split up into two squads of course and you're going to have to nominate one person to be the caller. The rest of the squad will get into the pool, but you'll be blindfolded. You'll have to pick up a hat, you have to pick up a picture card, and those cards all make up a Zanzibar postcard. It is up to the caller to coordinate the rest of the squad, to collect the floating pieces, put them on, and to complete the picture. The squad to complete their postcard first walks away with three points each. And the other squad, you get one point each, and a nice swim. I'm nervous because the teams can end up with any combination now. Yeah, the squad games really switch things up. I'm not okay because we've never been chosen. We've always been the last option. So this is how we're going to split you up into squads. We're using the top two teams from the previous challenge, which is, of course, mixed berries and tropical. You will be the captains for today. And just like a schoolyard pick, you will decide which team you want on your squad. The top scorers from the last challenge get to pick first. Okay, the first team that we want on our team is... Peach. What? <laughs> Whoa, that was a shocker. <laughs> I think it's a little bit strategic, but I'm happy. Team Tropical come through. Who is your first pick for today? Mango, Mango Peach. Peach. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Love you, girls. We have strong points, you know. We're not just the weak team. I want to be on Mixed Berries team because they've got some sort of good luck. Mixed Berries, where are we going from here? Orange. Orange it shall be. Shocker. We are not the last one to get picked. Finally! Now that you have got your squads, I do need to remind you to please make sure that you are sun safe. Or should I say, Nivea safe. Here's a little bit of a tidbit. It's the fact that you have got natural sun protection as a person already, right? But this, of course, ranges from five minutes all the way up to 30 minutes. So the lighter you are, the less sun protection time you have. So you'll take your sun protection time and you'll times it by the SPF of your Nivea sunscreen. And once you times that together, so let's say you've got five minutes sun protection time and 30 SPF. You'll then put them together and that will allow you 150 minutes sun protection time altogether. So, that's when you would reapply. And that's a little bit of a tidbit, thanks to Nivea. On our squad, we have Team Zanzibar Sunrise and Team Mango Peach. Do I feel confident? No. Would they be my first options? No. But do we have them? Yes. It is what it is. <laughs> Smooth is slow, slow is fast. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth is easy, does slow is fast. Your team has to be blindfolded, and you have one person talking. So Stacy is nominated as team captain. Communication station herself. Oh, yeah. Clearly. <laughs> she nominated herself, herself yeah. yeah. And honestly speaking, like, she, I know, like, her voice is, like, high pitched. I didn't mind, but, like, yeah, okay. Please wait for us to nominate you. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided that Buntu is going to be our caller because we think he'll stay the most calm. He has a good, strong voice. He's assertive. And he's very confident. Tropical family, let's do this. In three, two, one, let's play! Bobby, walk straight forward to me. Walk straight. Walk, keep walking. Our squad's strategy is for everyone to keep quiet and listen to Buntu. Taz, walk forward for me. Fast. 
go girl. Yes. Bobby, please fix the thing on your head. We have a pretty clear strategy with this going forward. Just to listen to Stacey, we're going in directions, either left, right, pick up the boards first, and then rearrange later. This is, yes, forward, yeah, walk. I'm just assuming that it's me that he needs. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> Gloria. Ay, banda, buntu. Buntu. Amakama. It's your right hand out in front of you. No, no, to your right. There's a hat. To your right. Right hand to your right. Right hand to your right. Being in the caller outside of the pool, that's, that's so nerve-wracking. There's so much pressure. So I need you to get onto the stairs. The next person is Taz. I need to get her on top of the stairs, blindfolded, in a pool where I can't see her feet, to get her hand piece. Navi, walking forward for me, please. Big steps, nothing in front of you. Buntu is such a great communicator. His instructions actually. are perfectly clear. He is so calm. Both Stacey and Buntu giving very precise Bobby. instructions. Dima, walk forward for me fast as you can. I have no idea what's going on. I can also hear Buntu. Team Orange's mm -hmm. boys next door giving instructions, so I'm just confused now. Walk, hand down, grab it. You know, walk back to your right. Bungani, walk for me, straight forward. Walk forward. The blindfold is definitely very weird, so I decided, let me open my eyes so that I can have some light. Tristan, in front of you, there's a handle. Reach out your hand. There we go, grab that. At first I was a bit hesitant, because you don't know what's going on, but Buntu's voice makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. Orange officially with all their pieces in hand and on their heads. Now it is time to try and put this image together. Blue Squad has officially got all pieces in hand. However, two members with two of the same pieces, two hats in hand for Ngani and two handles in hand for Dimakato. Um, Dima, use your right hand, stretch it out to the right side. Ngani, it's coming for your left hand. And then I'm going to need you, Stace, to rotate the one that's in your hand. Roxy. Roxy, sorry. You called me Stace. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? OK. Carl, please. Um, OK, so Bobby, stand for me. Um, go left. Take a, a step to, don't, no, don't keep straight, but take a step left. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to tell you when to stop. There's a wall in front of you. Buntu's direction is excellent. I'm trusting him. I have so much comfort. He's even telling me to the T how many steps to take. Which squad do you think is going to finish first today? Join the conversation on social media. Hashtag Tropica. Tag at my Tropica. Davi, your hat. Rotate yes, I walk straight. It. What's frustrating about this game is that you can't really tell how well you're doing. We can't see a single plus you, thing. We plus just you have just to hear trust. That. Let's see. Like, yes. You don't know whether they're ahead, they're behind, but you hear them. Okay. Um, Dima, I need you to show me your pieces. I can't see them nicely. I don't know. According to Stacy, I don't know. I'm not aligning what's in my hand and what's on my head. And because I can't tell, I have to keep touching here. My left shoulder is mm. so painful. Oh, oh, my word. So what I'm going to need from Stace? Roxy. If you, I mean, sorry, Rox. Stacy. Stacy's a new character. What's funny is that it's his partner that he's using the wrong name on. Oh my gosh. So Davi, yeah? bring your... Left hand forward, Stace, use your right hand. Reach out in front of you towards your right. Stace, towards your right, careful your face. What I'm supposed to do is to just tell Rox the pick the... You mean Stacey. <laughs> OK, Carl, you need to swap your uh, head piece. Hold on, let me just think. It's a bit frustrating for me because you actually want to help, but you can't yeah. help. All the way around, all the way around, stop. If you think you've got it, let me know, but it has to look like a postcard. That piece in your hand, Twist it a little bit to my voice. You got this. No! It's looking like things are a little bit difficult at Squad Orange. I'm sorry, don't worry. I'm gonna get it. I can see the picture. It's there, clear as daylight. Tilt, 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 more, more, more. Stop. More. Both of your signs, please bring them up so they're visible. It's just a height difference over there at the back, but does this count? It's gotta look a little bit more like a postcard. Okay. Bring things. Dima, I need you to somehow get taller. I'm on my tippy toes, so they need to also like squat mm. down. Please? We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. If you can tell me what it says, Stacey, the points are all yours. It says Zanzibar, Island of Treasure, Zanzibar. And there it is. Blue Squad win the first hat challenge. There's just one last movement left to do. As I'm finishing, blue bang. team, bang. Yo, my heart literally sinks. Just like that, Blue no, Squad takes it. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> oh, victory. Victory at last. Incredible. Orange squad so close. Wait, sorry, guys. I'm feeling defeated. This sucks. I'm it's not on you. Inconsolable. 
So just like that, uh, blue squad you, gets him. three points. He was in front of me. And orange squad, you walk away with one point. Woo! <laughs> oh, so that's how Thank it feels you. like. Thank you, three points. I'm stoked. Ew. Postcards from paradise. <laughs> Those fez hats were quite something, huh? Yeah. But yeah. Blue Squad, you did the things that needed to be done. So mixed berries, orange and peach, walk away with three points each. Congratulations. <laughs> orange Squad. Tropical Zanzibar Sunrise and Mango Peach. Guys, you each walk away with one point. So it looks like if we're in the scores right now, mixed berries eight, Orange five. We are moving up the ladder. Peach four, tropical four, and Zanzibar sunrise four, and mango peach three. We are rock bottom where it's a good place to lay a foundation. I've been humbled. Things have mixed up quite a bit in general, but mixed berries, it just looks like you like the number one spot, huh? <laughs> You're quite comfortable there. It's our connection. We are really just having fun with each other as well. We've got a good synergy going. Yeah. Tonight will be yet another sunset ceremony. This is where you'll be voting for one team to not just be safe from elimination, but to also go and enjoy a lovely spa day courtesy of the Sephora Blue Resort. Oh, I think you deserve that after all the running, the swimming, everything else in between. The rest of you will be fighting for your place in the competition by trying to stay out of the bottom three. So, Go ahead and strategize and smooth talk your way to hopefully what we can say is safety tonight. I'll see you then. Nobody is safe. Wouldn't you love to visit this island? Well, you can. Buy any Nivea Sun product, dial star 120 star 607 hash, and you could stand a chance to win a trip for two to the Safira Blue Luxury Resort and Villas in Zanzibar. Keep your tool slip handy. T's and C's apply. Only a few hours remain before the sunset ceremony begins, as teams use this precious time to strategize and work on their alliances. We've been at the bottom the whole time, so I think we would want the, to yeah, take no, I the think, day. Yeah, I think it would do us some good. Do you guys want the day stay also? Yeah. yeah. There's mm. quite a couple of teams that want the day off, including us. So, yeah, I think it's going to be very tense tonight. So I'm thinking that we just need to try and convince everyone else. It doesn't help if you, when I explain to you why certain things should work a certain way. But no one's going to vote for me experience. No one's talking about them. But if so my own partner doesn't understand you? what I'm saying, then that doesn't help. Also. Do you feel like you guys want to be saved or do you feel like you guys want to fight? I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I just have a bad injury. My hand is pretty infected and swollen. I injured it on the first day, digging up the box. So, yeah, it really needs to heal. It's actually throbbing right now. And then Bobby also just injured himself, so he's been in medic. Just after we wrapped the competition, he went up and he fell. And then he what? started What? Who do you guys think should take a day off currently? So, currently, we actually want to take the day off. And you guys, who are you guys thinking? Who also wanted a day off? I, I would really appreciate the vote if you would like to give it to us, you know? You know that that. I will have you back if push comes to the shop. Everybody voted for us in the last one, so everyone has like an expectation mm -hmm. for us to kind of give back, and it's like we got one vote. Like one moment. Yo, moment. this what? guy. What did you do? Did you get small slip no. on the steps. Yeah. It's did you stitching. have to get stitches? Yeah, I did this on purpose so they would vote for <laughs> us tonight to give us a day off. We're so, voting so for you. Yeah. You're voting for us, and we hope. And we hope that either of us can take it. It's always anybody's game yep. to win or to lose. Exactly. As the sun dips beyond the horizon, the time has come for the fate of one team to be decided in the sunset ceremony. Sunset ceremonies always make me feel anxious because you just don't know where everybody's head is at and it's like poker. All right, everyone, welcome to yet another sunset ceremony. We came from a very hectic day, but you made it through, and this is what the points are looking like. Team Mixed Berries with eight points, Team Orange with five, Team Peach, Team Tropical, and Team Zanzibar Sunrise on four, and Team Mango Peach on three. Tonight, it is going to be very interesting to see how you guys decide to vote, because your vote, of course, is putting one team safe from elimination, as well as allowing them to head off to a lovely spa day at the Safira Blue Resort. We'll be, 
When it comes to your decision that you're making tonight, <laughs> what's informing it? Um, I think that now it's time to be strategic. Last time we had the opportunity to show that, like, you know, we're honest people. And now we just, we're doing what's best for our own teams. Is this a trending thing for you as well, Zanzibar Sunrise? Uh, just that I want to ask you, in terms of your vote, are there any alliances that you're keeping in mind in terms of the people that you might need to vote for or not vote for? I think even though there has been conversations around who we would help or wouldn't help, we prepared for anything going in here. Well, then let's vote for the team that will be safe from elimination and be given the opportunity to go enjoy a delicious spa day. So we have an agreement with Team Mango Peach. We've agreed that we're going to give them our vote and they're going to give us theirs. I'm definitely hoping Buntu and Roxy stick to this plan. It's tense for us because we are not agreeing on who to vote. You put your hands up and you're yeah, like, I said, it's not my vote. It's whoever. <laughs> if it's not Peach, it's not my vote. You can vote for whoever. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. OK, starting with Team Orange. Again. Yeah, Bo. Let's reveal the votes. Zanzibar Sunrise, why? It's more of a strategic reason for us. Well, I'll say for me, because it's a, it's a bit of a tough one here. Yeah? Do you wish to reveal anything more in terms of that strategy? No, I don't think so. Zanzibar Sunrise, who did you vote for? Zanzibar Sunrise votes Mango Peach. Interesting. There's now an alliance. They'll yes. never vote for them unless they know for a fact they've got to vote from them back. It's Chai. All right, Tropical. Who did you vote for? I did last time. Uh. Team Mixed Berries. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense because nobody else would have voted for Mixed Berries to get a day off. So it's just a bit shocking as to why they would waste a vote. What we know is the island is built for Mixed Berry and Mixed Berry is built for the island. <laughs> So. <laughs> and we also think they deserve a little massage. They win so much, yeah. you know? Take some time off, girl. Just a little brooks. You guys deserve it. You know we love you. I did not see that coming, actually. I honestly felt so bad. Since we aren't going to vote for them. I would hate to be the reason why they would get eliminated. And mm. honestly, like, it would break me. Mango Beach, it's your time to shine. Thank goodness they stick to their word. What is the reason? Because I can't vote for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mixed berries, very interested to see how you voted. Please Second reveal. Thoughts. Regret. <laughs> I think there's regrets uh, uh, here. Am I seeing a little bit of hesitation here? Seems like Stacy is filled with regrets. She's filled with regrets, and I feel like Stacy now knows for a fact she should have voted differently. We are the Alliance. Oh, wow. Zanzibar Sunrise. Stacy was guilty. Point proven. Why? We feel like they've been, uh, they've been fighting to stay in, and we want to give them a break. I think from their perspective, they're looking at it like they can take us out at any point. Mm -hmm. It was a tough choice for us, yeah, though. It's not easy. Like, Tropical and Zanzibar Sunrise was definitely like our choices. Yeah. Um, like, I love my girls, but I know that they have it in them. You didn't I'm, show us your love, but I'm, thank you, it's noted. I know that they have it in them, and I, I trust them wholeheartedly. That's fine, but the game is on. Yes. We really thought yeah. they were our friends. They played us. Well, mathematically, it can't go any other way. Zanzibar Sunrise, you're off to a spa day, and you are safe from the elimination tomorrow. Congratulations. Woohoo! Finally. You got what we wanted. Team Peach. You know I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> we need to know, who did you vote for? Didn't you hear it? Um, yeah. OK, Zanzibar, Zanzibar Sunrise. Sunrise, why? What they said. OK, can I ask a question to you, Zanzibar Sunrise? Does it feel like you might need to return the favour in the future to a couple of people? I mean, looking at what's happening to them, like they said, they feel like they owe a lot of people. Um, so we probably might have to, and I think we'll find a way to do that. Team Mixed Berries, I'm going to come to you. Because uh, unbeknownst to everyone else, you have a smooth charm that expires tonight. So I have to ask you, are you going to play it? Or are you going to let it expire? We're going to let it expire. Yeah. You're going to let it expire? Yeah. 
Mixed berry have so many smooth charms that some of them are now fraught and expired and it's actually, I f it infuriates me. So the smooth charm that we got was to steal a vote from somebody and give it to somebody else. Or to ourselves. Or to ourselves. But it's unanimous for Zanzibar Sunrise, so it's null and void. Well, Zanzibar Sunrise, tomorrow shall be a glorious day for you. Everybody else, I will see you in the morning, bright and early, when you are then fighting for your place in the competition. I would honestly say to the other teams to get your head in the game. Um, it's really serious now. We may be bruised. We may have stitches. But, but we'll, we'll never, never back down from, from a challenge. challenge. If we end up in elimination, we are gonna fight tooth and nail to stay in the game. Team Orange, we're ready for a comeback and we're clearly making our way there. The game is changing. The game is getting real. Not only is the game changing, the game is officially on. Team Zanzibar Sunrise has earned themselves a well-deserved pamper, whilst the rest of the teams will have to vie for pole position to stay out of the dreaded elimination challenge. Join us next time when their fate in the competition literally hangs in the balance. Till we again say karibu, remember to keep it all smooth. Bye-bye. Keep it smooth with Tropica and taste the island life. Tropica, nothing smoother. Another feel-good production.